Wow, absolutely wow. This month has been insane and this beer is needed. My name is Jamie Palmer and welcome to another episode with the Bioshore 7.0. So yes, um, basically at the end of every single month, I start doing a kind of review of the month show you my results for the current month, show you some of the best results from the BD members. And also in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you some of my outside investments from other people. I don't normally do this. I only tend to talk a lot about myself, but you know what, I'm on such a high. This month has been incredible. And what I've done in this month is gonna set me up nicely, hopefully for the next year. I mean, look at this little setup now with the Barney and Shoya. Should I take this? You know what, are we on the higher time frame? Um, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna jump on a sell here. I'm on such a high, so uh, let me move this out of the way. USD CAD, I'm gonna take USD CAD down. Okay, so USD CAD, USD CAD, I'm on such a high. USD CAD, uh, I'm gonna sell. I'm just gonna take one trade, that was wrong. Hold on, let me pause the video for a sec. Right, I'm just setting take profit on these two trades. Look, and they're literally just going nice into the money. Um, yeah, you can see here, two sales on USD CAD. Now, my results for this month has been simply phenomenal. Let me just show you, right? Uh, so as you can see here, um, let me bring it up like that, okay? Look at my results for last year. So basically, since I took over this small account, I also take these trades or the majority of these trades on my live account as well, my larger account off my phone, which is uh, in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is literally since I, since I took over this small account uh, for my partner. Look, I've been averaging around 18 winning trades a month. I think, look, December was my best. 100% win ratio in December with 27 winning trades. Now look at the month. Oh, oh these trades have just hit take profit. Look, nice. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Let me just have a quick look. I'm going to close that as well. There you go. Two trades. Look, nice. Let me just move that like that. History. Um, oh, look, there you go. USD CAD. Nice, nice, literally, as I was making this video, look, there's that sell there, look, USD CAD, literally in and out, five pips, there and gone. Uh, but yeah, let me just show you, okay, let me pop this back up here. Uh, so, analyst, right? Look at my results for 2021, okay? January, 67 winning trades. February, 203 winning trades. 203 winning trades. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Literally, the binary show you has been on fire. I mean, you can see here, let me just uh, go back to here. Look at some of the results, right? That's a nice winner. That's a nice winner. That's a nice winner. These are nice winners. That one is there, especially this one at the bottom. Look at that one. Beautiful. Like I said, if the MACD's overbought or sold, we've got a Mogwai Arrow at a resistance. I mean, I mean, look at that support. I mean, that is a good trade. GP CAD. Okay, let's have a look at GP CAD. Not a lot of buy. We're going to buy there. Euro USD. We've got a nice little buy there. Again, how do I tell this is by, I mean, look at these. That's a winner. That's a winner. All, all these are pretty much all winners. I'm not saying I take every one of these trades. Like I said, I've got to have MACD overbought or sold, support and resistance, uh, and a Mogwai arrow, preferably outside the zone. Um, I mean, I'll give you an example here. Look at NZ. Let me just move myself out of the way, right? Look at NZUSD. Okay, if we're at, oh, we've got a nice little buy just there. If we're at a support line, like here, let me give you an example here. Okay, so you see this nice little support line just there? Okay, so that nice little support. If we go down to the five minutes now, there's that signal. Literally, there's that signal. Honestly, the buying show has been insane. Uh, USDJPY, okay, we've got some sales at the top there. Um, again, look at that. N nice, some, look, definitely that's a nice sell just there. Okay, you've definitely got one just there as well. Just there. You see that nice little support line? Look at that. That is a real nice trade with the trade. If you manage that, I mean, you would have got over about 70 pips on that. 
We're currently overbought as well. The MACD has gone oversold. So we could see a possible sell happening on USDJPY. I'm just interested. I took a sell on, what was it? USD CAD. USD CAD, yeah, look, you see USD CAD still dropping down now. Or was it USD? Here we go, USD CAD. So USD CAD is going to slowly pull down now. That MACD RSI is going to go. So that's still another, you might be able to get on USD CAD, maybe another, maybe 50 pips, maybe in a 40 pip move to the downside on USD CAD because on the one hour charts, we are, look, you see here, we are rejecting nicely off this level here. So we might actually see a downside movement on USD CAD. Uh, definitely maybe a 50 pip move to the downside or 40 pip, 43 pips maybe, which is good. Um, yeah, BD members, let me show you some of the results from the BD members. Okay, again, have been absolutely insane. Um, again, let me just bring it up like this. Um, so BD members, GP, uh, GP 56 profit just today. I've been very successful using the 6.0. However, when I have time, I also use the BD 7.0 for those quick five pips profits on the 15 minute time frame, entering on the one minute in the favor of the trend. Anyway, just wanted to share my results as you can see here. All pretty much green from uh, from this particular member, Roberta. Again, uh, Rory, pullback rules okay. 150 pips and I'm still running. Biggest single pip haul I've had so far. And like I said, right, I've, I've said this time again in my previous videos. If you learn how to master the pullback strategy, you literally can master, so, I mean, capture some big moves. I mean, let me give you an example here, right? Let's just flick over like this. Let's look at GPCAD. Let's load up the bend strategy on, uh, it's actually the pullback strategy. It's pretty much the same strategy. Here, right here. GPCAD, five minute time frame. Look at this nice little buy here. Just here. See that little support line just there? We cross over, so we get a crossover. Tells me a trend change is happening. The crossovers happened on the stochastics. Literally ride this trend up. You have a, and this is what I like about a strategy. You can have a stop loss of 15 pips. This trade has easily gone 150 pips. 15 pip stop loss, 150 pip take profit. That's like a one to 10 risk reward ratio. Insane. Uh, and as you can see here, this particular member, 150 pips. Like, like I said, insane. Um, with that said and done, let me show you some more. Um, again, um, one of the BD members as well talking about a separate indicator. Again, another another BD member as well is in here. Um, um, if I can find it, a lot of price action this month. Here you go here. Cracking setup on Aussie USD. Double top on five minute time frame, right on the one hour resistance, easy five pips. And I actually took the same trade on him as well. Look, you can see here. Um, uh, basically, this guy here as well is talking about a holy grail after four years of trading. Okay, uh, which is good. Anyway, my outside investments, right? Basically, we're currently running an EA. I've built an EA. I'm currently testing it. This is my results from, I'll give an example here. I started this EA in june so june i did a five basically since june so one two three four five six seven eight nine so for nine months i've been running this ea you can see my gains here uh 2021 Feb january i don't know why january didn't flog up here but february i've done a nice five percent gain you can see here 88 percent overall drawdown has been average around 35 percent i did mess up originally with my lot size that would be a lot less but yeah I've now closed this uh, demo account and I'm now actually running this on an FTO challenge account. So if this EA can pass the 100K FTMO challenge account, I'm running this on a 100K live account. Hopefully it does pass it. If it does, I'm laughing. Uh, another outside investment as well. I've also put 500 euros into this cryptocurrency business as well look what they're averaging a week 1.6 percent for the first week week two they've averaged 3.4 week three they've averaged 4.2 percent i've currently invested with this company uh, as you can see here 
543 euros. I will be putting maybe another 20 to 30,000 pound euros in this. I'm expected to return around 5,000 euros a month, which is insane results because if I get 5,000 euros a month from this, I get another 1,000 euros a month from my EA. Uh, obviously, trading, I average around 3,000. I'll be hitting about 10 grand a month <laughs> from, from my investments, which is going to be insane. So, yeah, like I said, uh, February has been an awesome trading week, uh, trading month for me. Uh, and you know what? We go into February with a lot of highs uh, and hopefully we can carry on that progress. So, yes, thank you for watching and have an awesome weekend. I'll see you next week for some more live trading. Thank you.